So, how's wrestling going, Jeff? I'm Caitlin. You've outdone yourself, hon. This is really good. Without labels on genetically engineered food, you have no way of knowing what you're eating for dinner. You have the right to know what's in your food. Go to justlabelit.org and tell the FDA to label GMOs. Honey, did you leave the oven on? Every now and then, we acknowledge a person who, through either their celebrity status or their influence as an entrepreneur, uh, work to help educate the public about issues that impact us all. Someone who rises to the occasion when it's necessary to take a stand. So it's fitting that here at this particular event, we're honoring the co-founder and chairman of the National Awareness Campaign to establish mandatory labeling of genetically modified foods. This week, the Achievement Award goes to Just Label It's Gary Hirschberg. Welcome, Gary Hirschberg. Welcome. Well, thank you. So uh, let's start out by talking a little bit about business. You're a business guy. You started out as a, an ambitious young entrepreneur. Tell us a little bit about how the arc of that success led you to this, this new role. Well, you know, we're here at Expo West. Back when I started, we had, uh, you know, we often say we had a wonderful company, companies, we just had no supply and no demand. Right. But now, you know, we've got an industry. And yet, at the same time, chemicals have been, continued to be used more. Over a half a billion pounds of herbicides, toxic herbicides, have been used since 1996. And with a lot of wonderful colleagues here, we decided that it was time to demand that our federal government uh, give us the same rights as citizens that citizens in 64 nations around the world have. That is the right to know, the, the right for mandatory labeling of genetically engineered ingredients. Let's talk a little bit about the problem you mentioned, because people don't think of, uh, you know, GMO, genetically modified organisms, we think of that as being, you know, scientists in lab coats and petri dishes and thinking about th things and ways to, to, you know, whatever it is, make, make uh, tomatoes with no bruises or who knows. Apples, yeah. But we don't associate that necessarily with Pesticides. Yeah, this is the, uh, I think, the great scam that's being put out over America. Uh, despite the promises that these crops are going to increase yields, which hasn't been proven, that they're safe, which hasn't been proven, that they are, um, you know, providing consumer or farmer benefit, the reality is that over 90% of the genetically engineered crops that have been introduced have enabled greater use of herbicides and pesticides. As I said, it's been over a half a billion pounds of herbicides because these crops are engineered to be herbicide tolerant. And it shouldn't shock us, because these are chemical companies that right. sell the herbicides yeah. who own the patents on these crops. Right. So the idea is that you're not going to debate the science. You're not going to say, you know, you can't really tell Monsanto, for example, what to do with their own money and their own research. But you can say, um, we shouldn't be the guinea pigs, right? There's, listen, there's two, you can debate a lot of things, but there's two things that are not de debatable. One, these crops have resulted in dramatic increases in toxic herbicides. 60 to 100% of rainwater in the Midwest now contains herbicides. Last year, one of the leading companies, Syngenta, sold $4 billion worth of seeds and $10 billion worth of toxic chemicals. So that's not debatable. And the second is, we have the right to know. Yeah. We have the right to know. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, th this is not a radical ask. And by the way, in the 64 nations around the world, really progressive countries like Russia and China, <laughs> who give their citizens the right to know, we're talking about two words on the, back, on the ingredient label. This is not a skull and crossbones. This is saying the same thing that we've said with orange juice from concentrate, irradiation, country of origin. We, by the way, we have these fights over salt and fat and calories that somehow having labeling is going to increase the cost of food. Again, nations all over the world have not seen this experience. Yeah. So I know states have tried. Some states have tried. Some states have won. Some, some states yeah. have won. But Thanks it's been to the folks here. I mean, we have uh, efforts. <laughs> efforts are underway in 30 states. Listen, this is the biggest food fight in America. I mean, 91% of Americans, when asked, say they want the right to know. When the pollster announced those results, he also said 91% of Americans don't agree on anything. This was an extraordinary result. But we have had wins. Vermont has now passed right. mandatory labeling. Maine, Connecticut, in Massachusetts, 154 uh, state representatives out of 200 
passed, uh, said that they're going to sponsor mandatory labeling. It's happening. Yeah. It's really quite inevitable. The reality, though, is that as a result of these state efforts, there's many of the large food companies are now trying to stop preempt these efforts by introducing legislation that would actually stop the grassroots. And we've just simply got to put a stop to that, demand yeah. once and for all the kind of transparency that uh, all citizens want and deserve. So the organization you helped start, Just Label It, there's a website people can go to? Yeah, justlabelit.org. You know, most of our award winners are kind of the opposite of you because they're just like citizens starting along. They see the little problem and they start. You actually did this thing where you became this big fat cat in the, the natural products world and you could have been sitting on a beach and enjoying your Mai Tai. But um, the reality is there's work to be done and it takes leaders to get these kinds of things done. Indeed. And uh, Indeed. so we're recognizing you for your efforts. Thanks, Gary, for being here. Thank you. Justlabelit.org. Thank you. The winner of this week's Achievement Award. Gary Hirschberg, congratulations. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thanks, guys.